Hello guys, DJ Parsing and I'm back with another video of the World Championship of Through the Ages 2021. Uh, we are currently in stage number two of a lot of stages to come. There are 250 players left and uh, yeah, let's jump into the first game of stage number two. This game is going to be versus a Diogenes, Diogenes, uh, however he's called. Let's take a quick look at the leaders and wonders. So we see that he already has taken Hammurabi. There is Pyramids and Acropolis for good wonders in HA. We have Gutenbeast, Zeshka, no Joan of Arc, no Bach, no Shakespeare, uh, Pierre's here but no Marlene. We don't have the Red Cross but we have Madden Project, Fast Food, no Hollywood, Suez Canal is here. Uh, but no cook But Columbus great wall much pitch you all right all right So he is taking Hammurabi and I'm in second position and I will be taking Moses and urban growth there yeah, this is, uh, I've come for me personally. I've come to the conclusion that any leader is okay. So Moses here of course not my favorite leader, but we get Moses and a good HA yellow card uh, it's better for me than just Cleopatra or something like that. So, yeah, taking the leader and the good yellow card feels like the right thing to do. Then we can see Diogenes probably taking the Engineering Genius. No, takes the Acropolis instead, so we will be getting the Engineering Genius. Um, but the Pyramids did not come out, so he gets the only yeah real good wonder, I would say. The rest is kind of meh. So I go for Moses, use him and build the lab and then I get the engineering genius. Can still go for one of the HA wonders next turn if I want to, but maybe there's H1 wonders coming out. We will see. Development of crafts, opened by Diogenes and he will just finish that Acropolis. He could even take another HA wonder, but he decides the iron is more important for him. So early uh, Acropolis finished. I built my extra mine. I will go for alchemy. There's also Leonardo coming, so that is some good synergy. We don't really have the best setup for printing presses. I mean, they're okay. There's Darwin and Gaudi, um, and even Pierre. If we go for the Gaudi Pierre route with uh, Grand Circuses or something, so they could work the printing presses, but I miss out on the first copy here. I can't really take them for two. So going for the alchemy and then maybe combo that with Leonardo next turn is my idea here. I've drawn a tactic but no uh, event cards yet, only aggressions, so I can't push any politics. Diogenes can and he will open the development of civil life, probably going for the iron or he's missing the science for the iron. You will build that lab now, grab a lot of technologies and that reserves. Yeah. Quite a lot of uh, technologies in his hand. Uh, he'll have to find the science for that. I mean, it could argue the early Acropolis doesn't do that much. Maybe he could have gone for the lab first before he finishes that wonder. Um, because the strength of the Acropolis right now doesn't matter yet. And the culture, I mean, also doesn't do that much. So I go for Leonardo. A, I also grab the Code of Laws. And then for my first wonder, the Great Wall. Um, sure, it works. Uh, if I want the Code of Laws, I can't go for Leonardo this turn. I have an Engineering Genius, I have the Legion. So I have some good setup for Great Wall. Uh, also, I built that extra farm, I believe, with uh, the development of Civil Life. Yeah, I used that to build an extra farm. Missed out on the irrigation, so going for an early farm will guarantee us some food income and some extra population. And then we get rocks and science from Leonardo, so yeah, getting some extra food was my idea here. Again, no events for us, but a good tactic, even though we can work with the Legion. Development of civil life opened by him, so we both get extra population. He can go for the iron finally and go for Genghis Khan. Interesting, he has knights. But he wants Genghis Khan nonetheless. He's gonna get the extra culture. Thanks to Acropolis. Oh, that guarantees it a little bit more. Of course, he would also get that on a draw. But yeah, getting uh, Genghis Khan in 
maybe he has a tech pick, maybe he doesn't. He doesn't need to reveal that yet. But he gets his iron started. I have some extra population here, I can finally go for Leonardo, go for the alchemy, upgrade both of them, so I'm up to 5 science production. Next turn I can go for the code. Uh, but I had to do both of these upgrades to avoid corruption, but that means, of course, I'm gonna be skipping the iron. Uh, the idea is that I get enough resources from the alchemies, thanks to Leonardo. So for the technologies when researching them, Leonardo gives extra rocks, uh, so that I can skip iron. I'm not the biggest fan of skipping iron in general, I think it's a very important tech, but we will see if it can work here. Finally, an event, but not a good one. Knowledge of the Ancients doesn't really work for us. We only have an H1 wonder and he has an HA wonder, so not the best draw this far. He opens the development of poly uh, development of planning and we can get warfare, science or agriculture. I guess I could take either the warfare to get that free warrior because we want to go for a legion plus uh, great wall is uh, a lot of strength or that I go for the science, but I have a lot of science, so I think I'm gonna take the warrior uh, that saves a military action and two rocks, which isn't too bad. He will grab a new wonder as well, he's gonna grab the Forbidden City, upgrade one iron, start building on that Forbidden City. He can finish it next turn, he has the Engineering Genius, I think this is a good move. Uh, he has a lot of technologies in hand, he could also go for Irrigation, but going for a strong wonder here is also really nice. He could have waited for Universitas, maybe. Um, that could have been an alternative, but he also doesn't have any happy faces. He's gonna miss out on the brand circuses. He could go for theocracy, but he won't have the code. So yeah, I think I like that. I like that wonder for him. So we can see I probably won't play the knowledge. No, but I can go with the code. Play the legion. I did take that free warrior and also build one. So using my military actions while we're still in H1, which is good and then start building on the Great Wall and grabbing Theocracy. Very interesting. I will be missing out on the Engineering Genius, which is pretty sad. Uh, at least I only paid one selection for it in the beginning. Uh, but if I used it here, I would have Corruption anyway, so no real reason to use it. And then I'm gonna be losing it before my next turn. It sucks a little bit, uh, but that's how it is. The Wonders weren't super early, so it's okay. He is weaker now. He skips politics and goes for a knight. Let's see if he also has a tactic. No, he goes for another knight and grabs swordsman. Also building on that Forbidden City, but yeah, with having to go for these knights to get stronger, he can't finish the Forbidden City. Looks like he doesn't have a tactic, which is uh, bad for him, of course, but he didn't draw that many cards. He had Hammurabi in the beginning. And then he chose to go for Genghis Khan while he did not have a tactic in hand, probably, or a good tactic for Genghis Khan. Uh, so that is a risk when you don't draw that many cards. So I lose the Engineering Genius. I could push, but he really wanted to be the strongest. I'm building two knights, so I will not do that. And then I can go for the Theocracy. Increase population. Sadly, I can't finish that. Uh, can't finish the Great Wall, missing a little bit of rock. So I will stay weaker for now. Which is uh, yeah, pretty sad, I would have really liked to get stronger here. Because it oh, looks like he can't or doesn't want to play politics. I'm betting he can't. Again, he didn't draw that many cards. Uh, so maybe he doesn't have anything to push. Because I'm thinking that these are probably uh, strength related, since he played those extra knights. Uh, he can finish that Forbidden City here. And what else does he do? Build another knight, but doesn't show tactic, grabs reserves and rich land. So next turn he can maybe go for irrigation. Also he leaves the selective breeding on three for us. And then I skip politics again, go for the Great Wall, go for swordsman, can upgrade a couple of them, and then grab that selective breeding. So yeah, selective breeding is really good. I mean, we have that extra farm, um, but we missed out on the irrigations and you want extra population. There is no sewer scandal, so grabbing that selective breeding here can go for it next turn. Then we solved our uh, food production and then we still don't have that many rocks, but we could even go for Maria Teresa perhaps next turn. Help with the rocks. 
I do decide to go full on for all of those swordsmen because I want to stay stronger. I don't want to give him an easy out uh, to get stronger again because yeah, he's definitely signaling that these are strength events. So of course it sucks not drawing any new cards but getting a big strength lead that he maybe can't overtake. He does grab this strategy for three immediately. Can't go for it for a couple of turns and he will stay weaker here. Also denying him the extra culture from Genghis Khan, so I think I like that. And then I can finally push something. I have the emigration, which uh, right now isn't the greatest, but we still have time until that comes. And yeah, the first card that reveals is the Reign of Terror, so definitely worth it for us to go for a lot of strength. Uh, he will have to destroy a unit. Maybe he can destroy the warriors. You will see, and then I can go for farm upgrade. I do decide to go for Maria as well. Can elect her, go for reserves, and have to waste one civil action. Yeah, I mean, I already have a code of laws, so I don't really need the justice system. And nothing else to do last turn. I do draw a good tactic. I draw a war over territory and a good tactic. The fortification is probably the best tactic to draw, especially with the Great Wall. So that's nice. And then he does decide to destroy the warrior. Go for another knight. And upgrade, upgrade, grab the scientific method. So he's going for a lot of knights. Still doesn't show tactic. But he can go for scientific method next turn. So his production is still looking really solid. Uh, he's just behind in military. He pushed a lot of military, but we are the one who came out on top, thanks to the Great Wall and the Theocracy. And let's see what the deck has. Crusades, so another strength event. So we steal some of the culture that he's gen generated with uh, Genghis Khan. So we make that gap a little bit closer. Then I grab the wave. There's a lot of good yellow cards here that I can all grab. Yeah, just grab the yellow cards. We need a lot of rocks. And these rocks we just grabbed. Four yellow cards. Wave could be six rocks. And then three for each of these is... yeah. Five times our current production, so that is definitely worth it. I could build an extra swordsman here, or an extra warrior even, to use the rocks from Maria, but I decide against it. Uh, probably because I also have that lead, I have that fortifications, so my end goal might be going for cannons and not these swordsmen. He has finally found a tactic. He has found that Hassas tactic with two knights, so very, very uh, nice for him that he finds a tactic for all of these knights. Uh, and he's going to be stronger again. That of course enables our Maria. But then he also can upgrade more production. Go for Scientific Method, Opera, Breakthrough and the Cavalryman. So I probably decide to not play politics. He's stronger again. The, uh, the two cards that came out already are strength related. So it seems like there might be more. I do get the cannons. I can upgrade one uh, farm with the rich land and then go for those cannons using the rocks from Maria to build uh, a cannon and be stronger again. So that worked out perfectly using Maria, getting stronger uh, and still being able to have that farm upgrade. So he won't stay with uh, he won't stay with only knights. He also wants the swordsman. Maybe he has a tactic for those and then goes to Napoleon, so definitely wants to be stronger. Upgrading even more production, so production-wise he's definitely looking better than us, but we have the big Maria bonus. Every turn that he gets stronger we get three extra rocks, so um, those cannons we build are gonna be super cheap. And Napoleon, yeah, is gonna give him some extra strength, but not the culture, not the rocks that Maria is giving us. And he does show his tactic. Okay, he does show his tactic, so he's weaker again. So that we can't use Maria, can't use the extra rocks. And then I probably decide to not play politics. No, I do. I want to see what's under there. It is border conflict, so I uh, win that. Oh yeah, right. He, he got weaker. Uh, I mean, that's definitely debatable then, right? He knew that one of the two cards was border conflict. Uh, so he got weaker. And there we get our three rocks anyway, and he has to destroy something. So maybe it would have been be would have been better for him to keep the tactic and be stronger. Uh, I definitely need happy phases, so I go for that pro sports. 
can increase population again. Maybe use the run rock we have. Yes, build another cannon. Show the tactic, so we're up to 25 rocks. He's in no position to copy our tactic. Uh, so I can show that with confidence. And maybe plan for war. I have the patriotism in hand. So potentially there could be a turn where I go for the war, play patriotism and build two more cannons. And then really punish him. Uh, but of course he has a lot of strength potential when he builds a couple of swordsmen as well. So H3 starts already. He starts it off with uh, some unhappy workers. So he has to destroy a knight here. Builds a swordsman, so he's going up to 23 strength. Uh, the strategy, 26 strength. The coal for... a uh, Coal? I don't know. I don't know. It's a very, really, really late coal. Uh, he does have the efficient upgrade, so maybe he's thinking he has to use that somewhere, but that could still cost 7 signs for the coal that is all that he has. Uh, and with already having the iron and the coal being this late, I don't think coal is something good to go for here. But we will see. Maybe it works out for him. So he's going to be stronger, I have uh, politics in hand and I decide to skip them, no, I decide to go for that war of territory, he has enabled our Maria, he's also enabled the war, uh, the wave of nationalism, so I have 12 extra rocks for building military, those are two cannons by itself, and then I get the urban growth, just more rocks, all I need is rocks, all of these technologies, I don't need them. But I go up to 38 strength with that war of our territory. And he already has problems with his population. He has happy face problems, he has no more food production, only one irrigation. So this war is gonna give him big trouble. Has to destroy a scientific method and that hurts. That's eight rocks that he spent on that. And that has to be destroyed to become an extra swordsman. Destroy an iron, another swordsman, another iron and the knight. So he will win this war. And then he can go for the iron, up, uh, the coal upgrade, but that yeah, only puts him at three rocks. He will steal one yellow cube, but this war is still definitely worth it. He had to, had to destroy two irons and a scientific method, and he's gonna only steal one yellow cube from us now. And he enables our Maria again, so I can build another team sports. So let's see if I can also use Maria's extra rocks. I destroy that extra farm that we have. Two selective readings is enough and then yeah get the discount on Maria. So Maria has given us so many rocks this game. Uh, probably nine or I think once we use the one so 10, 10 or 13 rocks from Maria is pretty crazy. And then I get another patriotism in hand as well. So at this point his production is completely ruined. He can get the military theory and the air force but his big problem is we are outproducing him in culture as well. I mean, not by much, but Maria, at least Maria is giving some uh, some production and culture from the happy f uh, from the food, even though we don't have that much. So pretty low culture game. Uh, he denies us the military theory, gets the first air force. So military theory would have been great for us. That would have enabled so many wars. Uh, but like this, we maybe have to find another way. Maybe we can't go for war. We'll have to see. I will open the last. H1 card, the foray, where we are the strongest, that's nice. So the first first uh, event cards were all strength related. He put so many strength cards in and then wasn't able to win any of those. So that is where his game uh, definitely uh, came crashing down. He had the Acropolis, he took a military leader in, uh, in Genghis Khan, but we basically countered him with that Great Wall and Legion as well as him having, uh, not having a tactic for Genghis Khan. That was what hurt him the most, going maybe a little bit too early for Genghis Khan uh, without having a tactic uh, that backfired quite heavily. So I can take the rocks, increase population, grab another reserves, another reserves, so as many reserves as we can get, and going up to 53 strength. So if we draw a war, we can probably go for it. We have one patriotism, so uh, maybe we can get another cannon out, but we don't have a war yet. We do draw the Emperor's Strength, which is really good in second position. And then he can go for Mandela, who is enabled, that's nice, but he doesn't have any ways to get extra happy faces. He can also get a reserves, a revolutionary idea, has to float one civil action. He is pretty weak, I could go for an aggression, but I don't have it. But I can just go for the Emperor's Strength. 
which I'm basically guaranteed to win now. And there is the politics of strength that I played, drawing a lot of extra cards, and one of them is that War of a Culture. So if we need that, that is enabled now. And then I can go for Pierre. Pierre in this game is going to be very great, because uh, we are in a very low culture game. So the production is that Pierre is going to give us, the four production at this point, and then the eight extra culture from the Olympic Games is going to be a big, big factor. Because, uh, yeah, we both solo on culture. We don't produce any culture uh, with uh, operas or something. So the six production we're going to get from Pierre soon with the extra lab is going to be quite good. Which is also good is the democracy. The three culture from that is also going to put us way ahead. And then I can grab a wonder as well, which is going to be the fast food chains. So getting a wonder, it is uh, not the last wonder, but one of the best wonders for us. We have a lot of reserves, so we should be able to finish that at some point. Then I decide to grow and grab the satellites. I, th I think I maybe could have also destroyed a swordsman and built one extra team sports just to produce more culture with Pierre. Um, but satellites are good tech. I have a bit of progress in hand and he doesn't have any new government form yet. So yeah, a bit of progress with satellites definitely has some potential. Diogenes will also play a card. We'll get the emigration where he loses his last population that was free. That sucks, of course. He can research that drama, increase population with the reserves, build that drama. So he's up to six culture production. He's still way weaker than us and he's behind in culture and production. So at this point, it's looking pretty good for us. I can get the extra culture from PS Olympic Games play another impact. I think that was the progress. Uh, and then we get the arms industry. So a couple of extra rocks for me and him. And I can start building on that fast food chains, increase population one more time, play the reserves, build finally or not finally build that extra team spots for Pierre. Uh, and then with two selections left, I can probably yeah, civil service and revolutionary ideas, so maybe making a better input of progress. And we have enough rocks next turn to finish the fast food chains, and next turn is also going to be the last. So H4 starts, he will lose the cavalryman. And open the civil unrest, another card that really hurts him. He had big happy face problems here, so he will lose four culture and a blue token. Can go for the farm upgrade. To sell his, I guess he didn't have real starvation, but still destroy a swordsman, build one religion, and another religion, a couple of happy faces, a little bit of culture, got pro sports, but can't research it because of civil actions. So, yeah, for him, really rough game. Um, playing a lot of strength cards and then not being able to win them always uh, sucks. Um, being stuck with the despotism, not having a new government form. And then, of course, the big thing was the war that I was able to play, uh, where, he where he had to destroy his whole production. Before that, he at least had better production than us. He has had good science, good rock production. Food was a problem. Um, but yeah, him having to go for that war, uh, or having to defend that war really sucked. And then also, of course, having the Acropolis and ending the game on despotism is not what you want. Uh, so he didn't get the didn't get the monarchy or theocracy, didn't get the Republic or Cornmon and then didn't get any new government form. So yeah, that really sucks. That uh, really hurts him, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. So up to my last turn, I think I can play the input of science. We will be able to win that. Kind of make progress coming out on the last turn, but we only produce zero food and one rock. Nice. And then I can go for satellites, revolutionary idea and civil service. And then finish that fast food chains for 24 and that's basically it and let's see those impacts there's four impacts i think we played most of them a bit of science for 10 to zero a bit of agriculture six to nine yeah that's why he went for the modern agriculture and then progress 18 to four yeah four is really low he only had that strategy so that one was a really good one for us 
And then the last one, a bit of strength, 10 to 0 again. So we are able to win this game. The first one in this group, 147 to 59. Really nice. Um, yeah, great game for us, I would say. We, the Great Wall plus Legion and Swordsman worked out perfectly for us. We got a lot of uh, stuff out of that. There were a lot of strength events that we were able to win. Um, and then Maria was uh, probably the MVP here. We had very low rock production, but Maria was enabled a lot. Uh, he had to get stronger sometimes because he knew the deck was full of uh, strength events. So he wanted to get stronger. Uh, and then I was able to use the rocks from Maria. I was using her for that uh, great war turn. So yeah, she was really, really great. Um, so yeah, good game. A little bit Diogenes. But uh, yeah, we are able to win this. Win this first game. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's, uh, of course, three more games to come the following weeks. Or um, I don't know when they will release. But we will see. Or you guys will see. Hope you enjoyed this video. And see you for the next one. Bye guys.